We are the women. We are our mother's mistake and our father's denial gone global now. We are the Sarah and the Psalms. We are the communication link between the Bible and the Quran. We are the secret message in the slave spirituals, the treasure hunt to our conjugal visits. Oh, I can feel it. Riding the back of raindrops, licking my brow full of sweat and malfunction. We are the kickback from the shotgun butt on your shoulder. We are Nat Turner's last sane thought before the voices woke him up from that blackout blood on his machete and hands, pieces of flesh stuck between his toes. We wear the bruises as medals of honor. This time we red dot our target. We are circa 1934, Thurgood Marshall's test scores. We are the Tallahatchie River, filling Emmett Till's wounds with fish scale and coral, gently carrying his body to Graceland. We are the riot she'll never remember. The chip off the old granite, the perfect edges of marble, the slivers of stainless steel, leaving history behind in every fingerprint. We are the elderly lovers on the second plane during 9-11. They kiss and clasp their fingers without making a sound. We are the last breath before the shards of glass ripped through their larynx. We are the lower class, drowning in the bottom of the Titanic, the Amistad, the 17th century hell on earth. We are the women, regurgitating meals we saved in the back of our throats to give our malnourished children seconds on floorboards. We are the 14th star in that Confederate flag. We are the hairs of stillborn slaves used to stitch the black seam around the white stripes. We are India before the till of the Huns. We are the campfire, moccasins, rain dance, hieroglyphic, shadow puppet dancing in embers, cave wall storytelling, Abenaki, Apache, Appalachian, Black Carol, Boro, Denny, Denny, Zellini, Fonz, French, King, Kosa, Bikimba, Yoruba, Igbo, people, we are the women. We are break dancing as a tribal tradition. No more passing in the American gold buck or doe or elk that only visit us at dusk. We are the elderly in the Little Wayne's wit. We are the public lynching with this fiasco with Michael Vick. We are the Jews that hide beneath the stairs, the slaves that hide beneath the stars. We are the priests that hide beneath their cross. We are the millions on death row earning a degree. We are the genus six. We are only as strong as our latest execution. We are the five percenters, the 10 percenters, the 12 percenters, the 4400, the heroes. We are the Mary Magdalene, the village soldiers. We are that blue thing on X-Men that changes to whatever she wants to. We are the keep your head up when we've been demoted to wifey and shouting every 12 minutes on eight different stations. We are the chicken frying, whole meal making Sunday through Thursday. We ask our partners before we accuse them of cheating. Bounce a newborn on our hip, boil a bottle, balance our checkbook, check our emails, MySpace, Blackberries, correct homework, check homework, find the Forbes report card, counsel about safe sex to your teenagers after finding condoms in what they thought was a hiding place when nothing in a woman's house is a hiding place. Little do they know we were 16 once. Get dressed, get them dressed, fix their ponytails, explain to your middle child that a free lunch card doesn't mean you're poor, it means you're saving up to be rich. We are the women. This is not vote or die. This is running to the voting houses and graffiti the walls, ransack their ballots and Xerox our democracy 1,482 times per inmate and flip the bird to the kinkos attendant waiting behind the counter to collect on paper owed to us so fine. Search, dream, execute, thrust your arms out of socket and have a present. Because Gandhi's message is not a mantra, but a warning. Be a change that you want to see in the world because no one else is coming. They've lost our addresses. We don't live close enough to the sponsors to be on MapQuest. We'll have to MacGyver our way with a paper clip, an old shoe, and a battery. Because God will give you the gift. God will give you the gift. But you'll never know what it is unless you are.